Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Atom RPG. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today. After I got rid of these spiders off camera, there was a lot of trial and error involved in that. Uh, and interestingly enough, the quest log just got updated, especially the trial and error, especially at the end. We're almost dead and these spiders took a serious toll on us, and they were taking a serious toll on us. Uh, and basically we died a bunch at the end. The more to the little spiders, I haven't looked at them yet. Uh, I also don't know what is gonna happen. So let's look at our journal before anything happens. Uh, let's hide everything and uh, we are in Krasnos Nameni Catacombs. There's two different loc- this, Yeah, it's good with me. One of the smugglers asked me to get rid of some cultists who leave- Oh, I still need to go there, don't I? The spiders are dead, I need to return to the Toilet Cruel. That's his name? I don't remember his name being that. I don't remember Cruel, but anyway. I'm gonna tell him about it. Okay, let's see what happens. End of the... Whew, end of the combat, okay. So, reload that. Uh, and thank you very much for telling me in the comments that I can press control. Uh, actually, I can press control just at any time, but this seems like an oversight, because... Or, it seems like a bug on the other one somehow, or I was just missing it all right, because, yeah, you can press control to do the same thing as clicking over here. Uh, I was, uh, yeah, it's, so it's a, it's a redundant, uh, design, which is good, because redundancy is amazing in design and should be fostered at every turn. Now let's get our spoils of war over here, because, uh, these spiders are, uh, how many, how many brains do I have? I suppose I'm gonna need a few more, uh, which is gonna be a problem, because the biggest problem with these spiders is, uh, that they will attack me as soon as I get close to them, so, yeah, they, they, they tend to kill me or tend to knock me down. I don't know if I... Just, uh, is, is it my constitution? Where's my constitution? Endurance, four. It's got a minus one somewhere in there for... Oh, no, it's just normal. Yeah, yeah, it's because I'm a diplomat. Um, is it, actually? Etymologist? Why in the... Why do I have minus, w minus one on endurance? For reasons. There are, I'm sure, are reasons. Uh, the thing is, I don't want to trigger the spiders and I don't know if there's any oh no alt I don't know if there's anything back there so I will come back when I have a, a, a heavy machine gun because the killing the eggs doesn't uh, doesn't uh, kill the spiders or doesn't give me experience and I want all the experience otherwise what's the point of spending the uh, ammo and the health <laughs> uh, anyway we need to go to toilet cruel and we also need to go um, wherever toilet cruel is uh, we also need to go up north. Uh, the zoom doesn't... yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, let's go this way, I believe. That is indeed where I need to go. And be on the lookout for Toilet Cruel. If my recollection is correct, he was relatively close to the entrance of this. Now, getting in here is pretty simple. All I need to do is go that way. And, uh, that's how you go. So, yeah, I don't I don't remember Toilet Cruel. He's 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 down here for sure. But uh, yeah. Anyway, these guys you guys might remember them. They had orgies on the floor, which was uh, it's the best kind of orgies. It's orgies in the air are a little bit unwieldy, and uh, it tend to result in in injuries and and just it's just generally unhygienic as well. So, uh, yeah, on the floor is a little bit better. So, this guy, I'm gonna try to convince him to go have his orgies in somebody else's floor. I guess, I mean, let's see. Oh, wait, oh, it's him, yeah. A tall, thin ma man blocks your path. I already asked you not to go in this direction. I don't remember what voice I gave him, but still. Nothing personal, but you're not welcome in our commune. Um, well... But, but nobody is happy your cult is leaving down here. Prepare to be evicted. The friendly smile is gone, and a man looks at you with disgust. Let me guess. The local banditry asked you to chase us off. I don't want to spoil their plans, but... I'm going to let him speak. It is an intro... I like it. I like the... I, this is... Pro this is... This is I, I, li I like this a lot. This is how... I would design all dialogue. It's just immediately cut him off or let him speak. Cut him off with your, you know, with your speech check and just be like, roll the dice right there. Uh, but I'm gonna let him speak. 
that's good. We settled here long ago. All the philosophical concepts of my flock were born here. I even told them this is our holy land, our unholy anti-Jerusalem. Yeah, he, he's confused. I think we saw that the last time around. And those bastards want to throw us out and scatter us across the land? Uh, yeah, well, see, evicting you guys is me showing kindness. I was actually sent here to kill you all. That should be a strength check, but it is a speechcraft which I will pass, of course, because I have all the skills in there. The man shivers for a second, and his eyes grow wide and fearful. Seriously? Oh, it's that bad. My god. Um, I mean, a uh, dark goat. That's too much. One thing is to try and scare us off. Another thing is actually looking for a killer to get rid of us. Guys, these bandits are out of their minds now. Pack your shit and let's, mo let's move out. The cultists gather their things and flee, leaving most of their suspicious possessions for the taking. Oh, I will get all the nice toys or whatever. I don't know if they have toys or whatever they have. They do have a dead raccoon. No, it's a lamb. Uh, the first one we see in the game. I wonder if it's a unique asset. Anyway, we have a big statue uh, of the dark goat, I would say. We also have biscuit. A single one. It's just it's, Actually, that is not a single biscuit. That biscuit is, is just, in general, it's like water. You don't find one water, you just find water. You find one bottle of water, but that's what that biscuit stands for. Much like coffee, look at that. Not alarm clock. We did find just one alarm clock. Uh, is that more biscuit? A, he a head of cheese. Oh, it's right, the head of cheese, not the wheel. The head. I will take any, any of that, because cheese is... Oh, yeah. I haven't had a good cheese in a while. I need to get, a, to get you know, start saving up for for cheese. And by saving up, I just, you yeah, know, not buying other things and, and instead saving up for the cheese. That's what saving up is, really, isn't it? Um, beer, empty bottle. There's no suspicious merchandise in here. Okay, well, let's have a chat with the Dark God or whatever. Uh, the statue is made out of gypsum and drywall, but painted to resemble quality stone. I don't know what gypsum is. He, my character said something before that, though. Uh, and, um... And only you can tell what it is, because you need to go back in the video in pause. Because now it's just gonna be... Yeah. Drywall, though. Drywall is a material? That is so interesting. That is so interesting. I... I thought it wasn't, because it sounds like it's, it, you know, it's the, it's the construction style, rather than the material it's made of, out of. I know what it's made out of, but I don't know the English word, though. Um, still, anyway, let's see what this has. Uh, are we going to be able, yes, we are, only three experience points. Eh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. A knife? I wonder if it's a sharp knife. It is indeed a sharp, not sharp, sharpened knife. No, sharp... Did it have a nice name? What was it? Sharpen knife. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh, we didn't say anything about this poor little goat. Or I said I said it was a lamb. I did. I I suppose it's it's pretty fat. It's very fat for lamb. Usually, well, I don't know. My my grandmother has lambs and uh, and sheep, and uh, her lambs are always very skinny because they were just they are not fed for uh, for um, for eating. They're fed for growing, uh, just, well, that's what she has them for. So they grow old and give her, uh, wool. I say her, but it's mostly the household. She doesn't, what's the word? What do you do to the wool? There's a name for that. There's like all sorts of names for all specific sorts of things regarding, um, I was going to say apiculture, but it really isn't. <laughs> apiculture would be for, uh, apis means bee, and that would be the culture of bees. Appies means being Latin, I believe. Um, anyway, we are here. And I wonder the, uh, if the B word also comes from Appies. Because the P and the B are both the same style of, of letter. Or sound, anyway, not letter. But sound from our mouths. Uh, so I, I wonder. It might have, might have yeah, corrupted down from Appies to B. Uh, so, this might be Toilet uh, Jerk, or whatever his name is. I talked to them before. Mm, did I? I just don't know their names. Well, I know one of these guys have a, has a quest for me. This guy, hmm. The large guard looks at you with anger in his eyes. Doesn't look, it doesn't look at all. He doesn't look at all. Like he, tr it, it, apparently it is it. Uh, I, well, I sold, what are you guarding? This here hallway, why? 
Haven't you heard what happens to nosy people around here? Hmm. So he's just the main guard. Gotcha. And this over here is the guy... Oh, yeah, about the cultist problem. That's right. I knew there was a quest over here. Just didn't remember which one. I'm here to talk about your cultist problem. Good, good. Well, uh, can I not just say that they're gone? Apparently, I can't just say that they're gone. Ooh, I can buy that spoon for cheap. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Buying a spoon and then getting a few more rubles out of it? I suppose that wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm not going to do it, though. Um, yeah, I, di I, didn't ha I didn't have to get violent with them. They ran away. All it took was a little pressure. Oh, that's great to hear. A peaceful solution is always better than bloodshed, even when it's the blood of demon worshippers. Hold on a sec. And the man holds... Uh, hands you a few bills. Here are 300 rubles for your trouble. Buy something fun, relax, and all that, he says. Oh, come on, that's it? Uh, you can do better than that. Fine, fine, here's another 150. 50%? Better, well, better than nothing, I suppose. Here you go. But remember, you have another more important mission. Dealing with Tofik Mozambique. Oh, that's right, you, tell, you told me about him. Or her. I don't remember. I think it's him. It's probably him, because just men in... It's usually... Um, let's see, what do you live, and all that, it's all good. See ya! Okay, well, that's good. I need to find this toilet person, though. Uh, hello, a smuggler, over here. Oh, right, he has wares. He also probably has terrible prices, but I, I made my, my, my trades with him. Okay, are you the toilet? No, you're just fade. Um, yeah, right, okay. So, woof, woof, woof. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Because that means there's only this one. I need to find Toilet Cruel. I remember him now. How could I have forgotten him? Well, he's the guy with the with the green stuff coming out of his teeth. That's uh, that's who he is. However, finding his st spot is going to be kind of tricky. It's good that you can click over here. So this is the... Uh, I would think his spot is over there. Let's see. Press home? No. Home doesn't center? Really? Is it tab? I thought... Wasn't there a key that centered on character? Or did they disable that? People might have gotten confused. After all, pressing a key randomly without really knowing what you're doing. Especially if you're on a on a, on a uh, laptop or something like that where the keyboard is not going to be the best thing. Um, and then not figuring out how you can un un untrigger it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a bad thing. So, Cruel over here. I forget his voice. Why are you back, sleek face? Uh, because of the job. Talk! The the deed is done. The spiders will torment you no longer. Hold on. Come again? I just... I just died. That's a shame. Oh well. That's why we save. That's why we save all the time. That's why we have a key on our mouse that makes a quick save. That's right. That's right. That you can tell the world. I can't get out of here, though. But you can tell the world that Colonel RPG has a key on his mouse so that he can quick save often. Uh, so I'm going to use that. And everything is going to be fine. Where is my... Is it because I'm hungry? I don't know what he did to... I just took one health damage. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good on the health side of things. Uh, that's that might be why I have lower endurance. Hmm. Anyway, let's have a chat with him. Exactly the th the same thing about the job. The deed is done. Hold on. And I took one damage. Did he kiss me or something with his? Oh, that he just killed me. <laughs> Hold on. Die. <laughs> Toilet cruel. It, it it'd be good to have a freaking description if that were to happen because it's a special ending scene. Uh, anyway, Toilet Cruel quickly closes your mouth with his sticky, gooey hand, and that alone is enough to kill you. And you are not quick enough to avoid contact. The terrible stench of the mutant's body almost throws you off your feet. So quiet. No more tiny feet dancing on the pipes. No more sounds of moving through spider webs. No more clicks and clacks of multiple jaws. All is silent. Good work. You really did manage to kill all the spiders. Hmm. And you earned a handsome reward for it, too, my sweet, sleek-faced friend. This reward is my trust. Money, too, though. Yes, money, too. Here, take... What? This reward? You mean the reward is my trust. Anyway, money, here, take it, quickly. 
Krul leaves you alone for a couple of minutes to dig through his stinky, fetid possessions. He finally produces a small... Oh, no, no, he didn't leave me to dig through his stinky possessions. He left me so he could dig through his stinky, fetid possessions. He finally produces a small wooden cask filled with money and healing items. A true friend you are, slick face. I would give you more if those freaks from top side paid me better. The mutant shakes his fist at the ceiling. As I believe he, he, he did before. Well, thanks, I guess. The reward sure is helpful. Saucer-sized eyes of Toilet Cruel. It is indeed his name. Uh, watch your m every move as you pocket his gifts. After that, his face contorts in a wide, crooked grin. Nicely done, nicely done. What do you know? Another job popped up for you. No money for that new job, unfortunately. But you will get all good things I found in raw sewage during my ears here. Yes, you will. Interested, slick face? Uh... I suppose, can I, sure. So, he coughs, licks his zit-covered lips. I don't know what a zit is. I know what a zit is. Is that a pimple? It, is that a correct... I, anyway, and begins. I have, see, I have a sweetheart on the surface. You know, a sweetheart. That's interesting. It would make sense if this was written, but it isn't. He's just saying the same thing twice. A lovely little lady. A darling gal pal. Mm, I've been on a love quest to get her since the first time we met. Mutant starts rubbing his dirty hands slowly while drool drips out of his mouth. The first time I met her was magical. I was peeking from under a sewer grate and she was walking above it in a tiny little dress. Yes, she was. And you can see the mutant is rapidly getting aroused. I can see that. I can see that. Mm -hmm. And it disgusts you to the very core of your being. Apparently. Seeing his eyes filled with lust. Oh, yeah, right, because it's the eyes that's going to fill me with disgust. Uh, I mean, and just generally. Uh, seeing his eyes filled with lust and his tongue lolling out of his mouth, you barely keep yourself from walking away from the creep. Mm. I learned her sweet little name much later. A tasty name, a sweet and tasty name matching my sweet heart tender nature. Nastasia. Hmm. That's what my sweetheart was called. I fell in love with her, started leaving small gifts near her door. Sometimes I gave her a dead animal. Sometimes some random random pretty little thing that the toilet waters carried into my domain. Our feelings became mutual in time, and now I want to bring her to my abode. Bring my Nastasia into the sewer. Yeah. I think I know who Nastasia is, but I don't want to call her here openly. Instead, what I want is to give her a little sweet surprise. Mm. For that, I need you to lure her to a sewer entrance. You do that, and I'll do the rest. She works... Oh, no, I don't know who, who, who she is. She works at Fidel's Bar near the city limits. Uh, yes. I thought it, it was an animal. I, I honestly thought it was an animal. It would make sense. It would be sort of a commonplace joke. Uh, not joke, I guess, but sort of, sort of reveal. It just turns out, ha it wasn't a woman after all. It was a cow or a dog. I don't know. Uh, but no, it's just, uh, he, he's just full on. He's a, he yeah, is just a creep. Uh, although, if I am, I don't know what he means by the feelings became mutual. Because a creep like him, you know, he's just pretty likelier than not. She just said anything to him at all and he's like oh she, she's in love with me or something or she threw him the dead rat or whatever uh what do you say sick, slick face will you help your sewer friend surprise his lovely gal pal darling you just need to lure her to the sewers which is yeah definitely i'm sure so easy right much easier than killing all those big bad spiders i didn't kill them all i mean i did kill them i just didn't kill the ones that were inside the eggs Ah, as Nastasia's former employer and the owner of the bar she works at, I hope I really hope you will not agree to kidnap her for this vile weird though. Please, amigo, don't do it. It's not kidnapping. She will just be become my guest forever and ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh let's see where this is gonna go. I gotcha, cruel. Wait here, I will fetch you your quote sweet heart, unquote. And uh my quest log has been updated there, and uh Properly enough, the there's no consequences for me to say that, which is good, because there shouldn't be any reasons. If Fidel has a problem, I would tell him, just shh, go on with it. I'm not going to take her down here. I'll uh, I'll just ask her and see what this is all about. And uh, if, if she has incriminating evidence of, of anything that is bad, well, I'm not going to be able to take it up with the authorities now, am I? Because we know what the authorities are like here in Krasnoznameni, or anywhere else for that matter, here in the world of Atom RPG. 
As, as, as far as we have seen, anyway. Um, let's see. So right now, we are in the docks area. So this is the way that I must go to. Must to go to. Uh, these are mother and son, as it turns out. And this is uh, indeed the right direction. Also, look at that. I didn't go here. I will do this quest first, though. But I didn't go there. I must go. Unless, of course, I did go into the building, and the building just doesn't have all the locations. So, uh, all these guys being around here, and then there's this guy that I can't just shoot or anything, and then there's Igor over here. Oh, I thought, let's have a chat with him and see what happens. It's you again, my friend. How can you help me? Or the other way around. Uh, how can I, can I help you? Uh, no, he does No, it's yeah. I'm confusing him with one of the followers of uh, Devi Christu. Th that's that's why, because there was a blonde dude as well there, and I was a bit confused. Anyway, um, people sneezing. Are you the one? Ludmila, right? I remember her. Hello. This is quite a refreshing feeling to do something that truly matters. I guess it's you I have to thank for. But don't distract me. We need to plan our next move. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't remember exactly what I did with her, though. Can I take your apples? No, I cannot. That is very sad. There's many good things over there. Uh, wait a minute. Who's... Spironov examines a bunch of grenades. I didn't have the... Uh, yeah, I didn't have the names... Uh, this guy over here, hello. Um, oh, wait a minute, I should ask how much time we have. The slave owners have dealt with their issues and are preparing for an attack. My advice is not to waste time. I do wonder if that is timed, because if it is timed, I'm screwed. Uh, oh, the grenade guy. No, no, you go away. You're a terrible person. Actually, let me... No, you're, you're terrible. No, is that 9mm? Nope, you're a terrible person. Okay. Uh, let's see, does, does this guy sell anything? So it must be her. Uh, any bullets specifically. He does not sell any bullets. Um, yeah, okay. Wait, there's a special, there's a thing. Oh, the cocktail called idiot. Right, right, right. That's not like uh, asking for special material. You walk by a short, cute looking girl who is currently mopping the floors of the tavern. As she senses you close to her, she loudly sneezes. On purpose? Because it makes it sound like she did it on purpose. She's like, oh, he's here, he's here. Achoo! She goes. Uh, and she did. Sorry, I hope I didn't spit at you. Well, what's up, Nastasia? Still allergic to stuff. Maybe you want to rest a while. No, it's terrible, Fidel. I really try not to sneeze around customers, but rest won't do me good. It's an allergy, not a sickness. The girl covers her face and loudly, loudly sniffs. Now, we did not see her here before. So, uh, Gusendite. I bet it's not how it's pronounced. I've heard... That, that is... That means... That means health, doesn't it? In German. Why? <laughs> Why would I say... Why would I say that? Well, but, but then again... I mean, we say so many words in, in French. Um, hey, I'm going to say that, yeah. I don't know if... Ge gesen, gesen, that's right, not Gusen. Gesundheit. That, that I'm sure... I think that it, that means health, which me then would mean uh, bless you. Or um, I, in English, you only really have the bless you. Or something like that, when somebody sneezes. Anyway, what's wrong? No worries. It's just my allergy, you see. Can't seem to get rid of it. Whenever some trees bloom, some tree blooms in this city, I start sneezing and wheezing. Have you tried a doctor? I did, but he could not help me. It's too dry. That's the wrong. It's it's too dry here. You see, when something blooms, there's nothing stopping the pollen from entering air. When the herbs out in the um, field start blooming, and she sneezes again, I tend to lock myself in. That's how bad it becomes. Uh, do you work here? Yes. Me and Kostya both help uh, out when we can. He has no parents, and neither do I, so Fidel, the owner, gave us jobs. It's just that my allergy is so bad lately, and she sneezes again. I'm so sorry, I, I, I barely keep up. So your name is Nast Nastasia, right? Yes, it is. Why? Someone is mad at my constant... And she sneezes. Sneezing? She asks. Um, 
No, 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 it's not that. You see, some weird comrade by the name of Toilet Cruel, I suppose, uh, wants me to lure you into the sewers. Why? No idea. I don't know what that means. Let's see what she understands by that. The girl becomes pale for a second and even forgets about her constant sneezing until she sneezes again. Sorry, what? Toilet Cruel? Oh, God. Um... I'm gonna look around silently and nod, even though I'm not really sure what that means, because I just want to find out what that means. Nastasia uh, sneezes again and weakly smiles. That's amazing, I was waiting for this for so long. I thought he would never ask me to join him in the sewer. Stop. Hold on. Stop. Just stop. What? Why are you so surprised? I'm so happy, says Nastasia. He isn't too pretty, for most people, but he has a cushy engineer job and never drinks alcohol. His other features aren't as great, but I believe I can fix them. The spirit is what really counts, and he has a kind, gentle spirit. Yeah, apart from being a creep, that he's a creep. The girl seems nervous as she approaches the entrance into the sewer tunnels. This stinky, fetid underworld seems to scare her a bit. As you come closer to its gates, a terrible stench assaults you, and you notice the thin, sickly silhouette of Toilet Cruel, with an exclamation mark. The mutant jumps out of a dark, dank corner and takes out a dirty cloth bag meant for storing potatoes. Cruel violently grabs the girl from behind, places the bag over her head, and pushes her into the stinking hole before dissolving into the smelly darkness. However, he turns to you and waves. You decide to follow the mutant. Yes, I do. Yes, I do decide to follow the mutant. When you pinch your nose shut and enter the den of Toilet Cruel once more, the kidnapped girl is already standing right before the hideous mutant. Toilet Cruel clears his nose and throat with, ter with several terrible wet sounds and yanks the bag off Nastasia's head. Nastasia, you're not even afraid! Good! Sorry, but I wanted to warn her about your plan, just in case you were lying and you two were not in love. Toilet Cruel grants you a quick, disappointed look and shakes his tiny, slimy fist at you, but then turns back to Nastasia. Oh, Toilet Cruel, did you want to tell me something? Dear Anastasia, my sweetheart, my gal pal, my darling, my lovey dovey sunshine princess, so long have I struggled to find the right words and failed, finally deciding to perform the beautiful kidnapping ritual of my people instead. Beloved Anastasia, will you choose freely to end my love quest and to sp spend your life in my underground abode, in my sewage drenched home where the sun never shines, until disease and madness do us part? Tell a cruel eye. There's no fear in Nastasia's eyes, no disgust, just tears of joy. With a loud gasp, the girl sensually hugs Toilet. She's like, you know, with her hand in his in his face and just sort of, you know, contouring her his features and all this sort of. That's that's what it means, essentially, hug in my head. Um, she sensually hugs him, and he lifts her up in his tiny wart-covered arms. He has tiny arms. I didn't know that. Um, the pair starts dancing in circles, hugging and kissing each other. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes, my sweet cruel. Oh, how I, how I waited for these words. I said yes right after your helper told me about your plan. He wasn't really supposed to give away the surprise, but I'll put that traitor in their place later. Now, oh, my sweetheart, gal pal. Oh, what a stone just rocked off my diseased, rotting, wart-ridden shoulders. Hearing the, these words made me a new man. Uh, it hasn't changed your face yet, but... but. I suppose maybe it's just, I, I, all, when he said, started talking about his warts, I thought that this was gonna be like a, the the beaut, not the Beauty and the Beast, the the Princess and the Frog or whatever. I don't know. Thank you, he says. Thank you so much, my darling. I will make you the happiest gal in the wastes. Except it's gonna be in the sewers. My own sweet little wifey. Uh, what in my place? I'm gonna I'm gonna insurrect myself. I thought you were kidnapping the poor girl. How could I keep silent? Nastasia smiles and laughs while rubbing Cruel's stiff shoulders, which is good. Please do. Yeah, it's good. Uh, kidnapping? <laughs> so silly. Why Comrade Cruel courted me so long? All my girlfriends got envious. Oh, and the g gifts he gave me. Empty bottles for storing clean water. D dead mermic, of course, for soup. Dead sewer dog for meat and pelts. You won't find a man more generous and sweet. Even that bronze goblet Comrade Fidel likes to drink out of... When he is manning the bar, Cruel actually gave it to me after he found it on the sewage while fishing for fecal shrimp. I'm gonna be si that, that is a thing as well, by the way, fecal shrimp. I'm gonna be sick, says Fidel. No, you would be sick, but apparently you weren't. After you did all that to me, she says, did you really, did you really think no was an option? Cruelly? 
silly boy. The lovers join in a passionate kiss. Well, good luck with that love thing. I have some things I want to ask the husband. And I also have the episode to end. Because for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Atom RPG. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.